Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan and on this channel you will find financial, travel and more videos. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you. Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll be sharing with you my Scoot flying experience from Singapore to Melbourne. Scoot is a subsidiary of Singapore Airlines and I decided to fly economy class instead of business class. I chose Scoot in silence, which costed me around 80 Canadian dollars for the seat selection in the Scoot in silence quiet zone. I had my seat right behind the business class section after the divider. There's no one in front of me and even the seats next to me were empty. Scoot in silence does not allow kids under 12 and the seats are better than economy with 34 inch pitch rather than 31 inch pitch in regular economy class. And being in the first front row bulkhead seat in scoot in silence, I had no one sitting in front of me and I literally had infinite leg stretch space. The scoot beast cabin or business class was right in front of me and I noticed that seats are not live flat business class. It's like more premium economy. They just have a little more space in between and in front compared to my seat. Definitely it's not worth paying extra for business class. You'll get the best value for your money if you spend around $80 to $100 Canadian and pick a seat in the scoot in silence zone, especially where there are no seats in front of you. I ordered food online months ahead and the quality was not bad. The overall cleanliness of the aircraft exceeded my expectations, including the bathrooms and I did not find anything to complain about. Everything else was a pleasant experience and I wouldn't mind flying again with Scoot. So that was my review of the Scoot business class and economy class. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe because there will be more videos coming up, so I'll see you shortly. Thank you.